All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at, with you, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to start out the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9. Verse 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And these same things you see happening this day, right? These same things that was told to Edras of, you know, what the most high, the signs that the most high was going to show of his return, you know, of his son's return. All right, might I say, because the heavenly father, he's going to send his only begotten son back to the earth. And these are the things that we should be looking out for. Right now, we in the know, in this truth, in this beautiful faith, you know, that would have been bestowed upon us. We understand these things. See, we have been given the eyes to see and the ears to hear, right? Ears to hear, you know, going back into us, the Lord opening up, you know, our spiritual mind, you know, to understand this word, okay? To, to hearken unto the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets, you know? See, many people are unaware of what's actually going on in the earth today. You know, it's like their head is in the dirt. You know, a dirt hole. See, we have been given the eyes out. We've been given the eyes to see and the ears to hear. The, you know, the Holy Spirit was the knowledge and understanding. You know, the scriptures say, uh, when a prudent man foreseeth evil, he hideth himself. So that just that see that shows you how simple people is, how simple Jake is. You know, which that's you know that's a uh, nickname for the Israelites from our forefather. Whose name is Jacob So we say Jake But it just shows you How simple minded Jake is Or you know How the Lord put that Spiritual block On Jake's mind To what? To not receive this truth To not understand this truth Alright To not be aware Of what's taking place On the earth Here it is The Lord gave the blueprint The Lord is saying Look These are the signs These are the signs That you're going to be uh, uh, That you're going to see Alright And just to know of that look, this is upon the return of my son, and uh, and Yahweh, the heavenly Father, Yahweh is visiting the world, right, through earthquakes, through tempests, many things. You see, Yahweh Bashim is making his present known on the earth. All right, whether you people understand it or not, but it's going to come a time you people are going to know. You're going to understand. You're going to, you know, say, this is a higher power doing this. You see, that's going to be your only conclusion of how the, the things that's going to be coming upon the earth. But I want to get, and I'm in transit, so just bear with me. I want to get the book of Romans. <clears throat> so, uh, 11 verse 7, it says, what then? Ezra have not attained that which he seek it for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So I was talking about, you know, a lot of people being spiritually blocked, okay, where they have, you know, they have eyes, but they can't see, you know, they have ears, but they can't hear, I meaning they can't understand, right? These things that we speak of, it's, you know, they can't visual, visually see it, you know, it's like, you know, we, we don't understand that, you know, and for, for as hearing, you know, in a vision that they, they, they believe is, is, is far off, you know, but these things are about to be up upon you. These things are about to be right in your face where there is going to be no turning a blind eye to it. You see, man, these people want to roll, man. It's not that serious, man. Goddamn demon. So let's go back to that edges. Let's go to, uh. Disciples speaking to the Lord. The book of Matthew, chapter 20, 24. 
verse 3 says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. Now, many, a lot of people think that this end of the world is representing like no more existence on the earth. No, this is talking about the end of Esau's world, the end of his wicked reign and his rulership. Let's get this. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes real quick. Chapter 1, verse 4. It says, One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So no, the earth, the earth is still going to be here. Earth is still going to exist. All right, it's not going to be done away with. But E's rulership will be done away with. That's what that world goes into in the book of Matthew, chapter 24. If I go see what's that Matthew chapter 24. I don't think I got that Bible in on this one. They go into the strong so that definition word world. Because you gotta see, you gotta look up words, man. You know, a lot of confusion comes by this new speech that E has created. You know, and that's why a lot of people don't have an understanding of the Bible now. Because you got false teachers teaching the Bible, which don't understand the Bible, and then you got to the play on words, you know, there's many things. All right, you got to play on words, you know, all types of madness going on dealing with E and who we have set up to teach our book. The second book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse, let's see. <clears throat> verse 3, let's go into that word world. Aeon, right? That word world in the Greek, right? The word world in the Greek in Matthew 20, on Matthew 24, verse 3. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 3 is Aeon. See? So it goes into what? Uh, let's see. An age, okay? Time. Let's see. Yep, age. Time, in the world. Yeah, so it goes into an age of time, you know, and this is going into what? The end of what? The end of E's rulership, the end of his time of ruling, right? Verse 4 it says, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And you see these things happening. Right? You hear different wars all in the news. Rumors of wars all being spoken of. This is what's happening. Right? But the, the Lord said these things is going to take place you know these are some of the, the signs and things you would see to what to know we are at the end you know for nation shall rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences yep there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes and divert diverse places tell me you don't see this going on in the earth you don't see this going on in the earth all around the world. Now, many people will say, you know, uh, well, you know, that been going on. Right. Which is true in some cases. You had certain things going on, different earthquakes and things. But these earthquakes and, you know, famines, they're not along the magnitude that they are on now. This shit didn't double and triple. Right. It didn't double and triple. Then you got uh, uh, things taking place. Things taking places like a uh, rain or uh, snow and uh, a sun happening in places that it never happened before. Never happened before. You wouldn't even imagine snow in Hawaii, for instance. Snow in Hawaii. That's crazy. You know, uh, a different uh, beast of the field, you know, fowls of the air, um, uh, you know, creatures of the sea. Doing all uh, uh, changing their courses, so to speak, meaning 
you know, fouls are going in, in, in different uh, weathers that they're not used to being in. You know, beasts of the field is eating different things that they never ate before. Like, uh, you know, that they're used to eating grass. Some of them are used to eating grass. Now, you, they're, now they're eating meat. Not all of them, but some of them. But that these are strange things that's happening upon the earth that should make you say, whoa, wait a minute. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. And that's what I'm saying. These are different things that you should, should stand out to you to say, whoa, wait a minute. Well, we're at the end of this thing, you know, <laughs> we're at the end of this thing, you know, and I, you know, just them just examples to speak of. But people that's not that's not uh, these type of things. People don't consider them bees going extinct. You know what will happen? Google what will happen if bees go extinct. Like how do bees end up becoming, you know, on the, uh, uh, you know, on a watch for being extinct? You know, different, you know, and more other species. Why is all this taking place? Well, because we're at the end of this thing. <laughs> you see, but well, people don't consider this. You know, they're not paying attention to the signs. They're not considering uh, things that are now considered strange. Just like, you know, that, like, like I said before, but their face is either stuck in their phone or they got their face in a hole, <laughs> a dirt hole. You know, verse eight says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Right. So these things that you see, these things that you hear of, you know, don't take it lightly because these are the beginning of sorrows, whether you know it or not. All right. But I'm at my destination, you know, just wanted to uh, touch it out through the spirit. Lord willing, hope it's edifying. Until next time, I want to say shalom.